Good morning children. This is Priya from Vignan class 3. Today we are going to learn about numbers. So our topic name is numbers. Before going to start this class, let us have some interaction. Children, we can see the different objects in our day-to-day -day life. Yes, what are the objects can you find here? Bangles, chocolates, sketch pens, dice, bands. So what are the objects can you find here, children? Bangles, chocolates, sketch pens, bands and dice. Do you observe, do all the groups are having the same number of objects? No. So, which of the groups are having only two objects? Yes. Let us count the number of objects in each group. How many in this group, how many objects are there? Two objects are there. One, two. Let us count the number of objects in this group. One, two, three, four, five sketch pens are there in this group. Now let us count the number of objects in this group only. We can see one object. Here we can see two bands. Here we can see number of objects 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 chocolates are there. So which of the groups are having only two objects can you identify? Yes. In this group we can see only two bangles. In this group we can see two bands are there. Understand? What do we call children? A group having two objects only. So a group having two objects means we are calling it as pair. So a pair is nothing but a group having two objects. Now here only two groups are having two pairs. Other groups are having more than two objects. Can we make these objects into pairs? Yes. Now let us see this group having how many pairs we can see? How many pairs we can make in this group? Two is nothing but one pair. This is one more pair. Totally we can see two pairs and one object is left over in this group. Similarly, if you observe this group, how many pairs we can make? Let us take two, two objects make into one pair. Here we can see in the total group having how many pairs? Three pairs like this. Can you make using one object? pair? No. So, where do we use this word children in our day-to-day -day life? Pair. For example, let us consider our body parts. Then we can observe a pair of hands, a pair of eyes, etc. Similarly, children, have you heard the word pair of shoes? Very good. When we are talking about two corresponding things, designed for use together, we use the word is pair. Okay. Children, if you observe this chart, we can see the different number of groups. Yes, this is different number of groups we can see in this chart. How the, this group, this uh, groups have the same number of figures or different number of figures? Different number of figures we can observe. How many stars are there in the first group here? Only one star. This group having only one figure. Can you make a pair by using one figure here? No. How many figures are required to make a figure? Two figures we required to make a figure. Now let us take second group here. How many figures are there in the second group? We can count one, two. This group having a how many? Two figures. Let us count the number of figures in this group. 1, 2, 3. Here we can see 1, 2, 3, 4 figures are there in this group. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 figures are there in 5th group. Similarly, if you count the number of figures in this group, totally 6 figures are there. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 figures are there in this group. Here... 8. 8 stars are there in this group. Similarly here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 figures are there in this fig group. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Totally 10 figures are there in this group. Now start from here. 
how many stars are there in the first group children only we can see one star one figure we can see in this group can you make a pair by using one figure no how many figures are required to make a pair two pair is nothing but two so let us observe the second group this is second group having a how many figures one two figures how many figures are there in the second group two figures are there can you make into a pair children yes can you find any uh, any figure is left over no so let us see the third group here the third group having how many figures one two three so how many pairs can you make in third group here the second group having only we can make into one pair let us take a third group here we can see we can make only one pair one object is left over similarly if you take the fourth group how many pairs we can make using this four figures observe here we can make one pair this is one more pair totally two pairs we can see in this four figures by using four figures let us take the next group how many how many pairs we can make one pair two pairs something is left over similarly sixth one one pair two pairs here we can see three pairs nothing is left over let us take the seven figures in this group first pair this is the second pair this is the third pair remaining is one figure is left over here here one pair two pairs three pairs this is four pairs here we can see nothing is left over one pair two pairs three pairs four pairs nothing is here one thing is left over in this group one pair two pairs three pairs four pairs five pairs observe children here so by seeing all the above groups children what did you observe some of the groups are having exact pairs and some of the groups we cannot make into exact pairs right so can you identify children which of the numbers can be make into exact pairs now see here we can observe two this is make into exact pair left over again four exact pair nothing is left over similarly we can see six here we can see eight here we can see ten understand so can you identify children which numbers cannot be make into exact pairs yes if you observe here only one figure is there we cannot make into exact pairs similarly observe this group third group having only one pair one thing is left over three also we cannot make into exact pairs similarly here five here seven number we cannot make into exact pairs something is left over here nine also we can see nine also we cannot make into exact pairs understand children exact pairs understand now now what are the groups here we can observe which of the groups are having exact groups two four six eight and ten and can you identify which numbers cannot be make into pairs by seeing all the groups means we cannot make into exact pairs means something is left over in that group so can you identify yes here one this is one here three here five here seven number here nine number so what are the numbers children 1 3 5 7 9 understand based on this pairing children some of the groups are exact pairing and some of the groups not pairing exactly so based on this pairing we can chalk out the numbers into two different categories so what are the two numbers two types one is this is even numbers and not pairing means this is odd numbers so based on the pairing we can differentiate the numbers in two different 
kinds one is even numbers and one is odd numbers so today we are going to learn more about even and odd numbers so what is the topic name children even and odd numbers what is that one even and odd numbers so the numbers which can be make into pairs just now we said the numbers make into exact pairs are called which type of numbers even numbers once again write here what are the even numbers 2 4 6 8 here 10 similarly the numbers which cannot be make into pairs are called what odd numbers 1 3 5 7 Nine. These are the even numbers. These are the odd numbers. Mm. Mm. So, mm. so the numbers which can be make into pairs are called even numbers. What are the even numbers? Two, four, six, eight, and the ten. Which numbers we cannot make into exact pairs? What are that numbers? One, three, five, seven, nine. These are called the odd numbers. If you observe here, even and odd numbers. What is the first odd number, children? One. One after again we can see the even number is two. After that even number again we are getting odd number. Next even number. Again odd number. Even number. Odd number. Even number. Odd number and even number. Means what? Here we can see the numbers are getting skipped. so if you see the even numbers all are it is looking like a two table 2 2 to the 4 2 3 is a 6 2 4 is a 8 2 5 is a 10 understand so even numbers here 2 2 after 3 is not there 4 directly we can see here 4 means the numbers are alternative numbers here we can see the alternative numbers understand now 2 4 6 8 all these are one digit numbers After eight, we are getting the even number is here ten. In ten number, two digits are there, zero and one. If you observe only one digit, what is the first digit here? Zero. Zero is in which place? One's place. If you observe the digits, all the digits in one's place, either zero, two, four, six, eight. What are these numbers, children? These are all even numbers. So one, three, five, seven, nine, all are one-digit numbers. These are all odd numbers. If you observe ten-digit after in this number chart, if you observe the numbers chart, what are the even numbers? Just now we discussed two, two after four, next six, after that eight, eight after we get a two-digit number ten. If you observe the one digit, what is the digit is there? Zero. So the numbers are not end with only ten. Yes, counting numbers are endless. After that, going on, if you write the two digit numbers, observe here the units place are here. We can see two. Again, the same number will repeat four, six. Here eight. Again zero. Next two, four, six, eight. And zero, like that we can identify the the numbers which have the ones places either zero, two, four, six, eight. Those numbers are even numbers. Similarly, if you observe the odd numbers, what are the first odd numbers, children? One. We can see this is one. One after which number we get odd number? Three. Three after five. Five after seven. Seven after Nine. Again, going on writing the two-digit numbers after ten. If you observe here, the ones place is one. So eleven is a odd number. Again, three will be repeating here. Again, five is repeating. Seven is repeating. Nine is repeating. Means what do you observe, children? The numbers, the numbers which have two, four, six. Eight zero in units place, in units place, those numbers are called what children? Even numbers. How to identify the even numbers? 
So the numbers which have the units place is end with either 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 are showing even numbers. Similarly, the numbers are end with either 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Those numbers are called what children? 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 are called what in units place? Those numbers are odd numbers. Odd numbers. Understand children? For example, 239 number is there. Is this a how many digit number? Three digit number. So how to identify this number? Is it even or odd? By seeing the ones place of this number. What is the ones place here? 9. So 9 is, is it even or odd? Odd number. So 239 is a odd number number. Similarly, if you take one four digit number 1428. So, what are the places? Ones, tens, hundreds and the thousands. What is the units place we can see? The digit 8 is in units place. So, is it even or odd? This is a even number. Understand children? This is a even number. Now, we can also show the even and odd numbers using the number line also. Let us take one number line. Let us take one number line. On the number line, we can see the so many numbers. 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, this is 18, 19 and 20. Okay. The numbers. Till now we discussed children. What are the even numbers? 2, 4, 6, 8. What are the odd numbers? 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Let us observe here. 1 is the, which number 1 is? Odd number. This is odd number. 1 after 2 is what children? Even number. This is this is even numbers. Again if you observe this is odd number. Again this is even. This is even. This is odd. This is even. Odd. Even, odd, even. If you observe this one, alternative numbers are even and odd numbers. Even, odd, even, odd, even, odd and even. So, what is this zero is even or odd? So, we can see here one odd number after what is the next immediate number? Even number is coming. Even number after again what the number is coming? Odd number. So, alternate numbers are coming. Here odd number means what is the previous number? This is a even number. So, 0 is a even number. Understand children? If you observe the numbers on the number line, easily we can identify the numbers 0. Here we can observe 0, even, 2, 4, 6, 8. Again 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 0. Again the digits are repeating. So 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 are called the even numbers. And 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Again repeating 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. These are called the odd numbers. Now children, we can see the, this even and odd numbers, some examples. Children, can you identify which are even and odd numbers in the given numbers? For example, 410. This is 27. This is 3741. This is 5,393. This is 6,746. All these numbers what children? 
either two digit number or three digit number or four digit numbers can you identify which of the numbers are even and odd numbers till now we discussed all the even numbers are end with 0 2 4 6 8 all the odd numbers are end with 1 3 5 7 9 digits so if you observe this number 410 what is the units digit of this number children this is the units place is here we can observe 0 is the units digit 0 units place this number is having means is this even or odd number even number this is even number similarly if you observe this number two digit number what is the units digit of this number seven is it seven is even or odd odd number so that 27 is a odd number if you observe this four digit number the units place of digit is one so this is odd number similarly here we can see the digit in one's place is three so is it even or odd odd number here 6746 what is the units place digit here 6 so this is a even number children till now we discussed about even and odd numbers for identification of even and odd numbers we can do one activity What are these children? These are the flashcards. So by using these flashcards, we can identify the given number is even or odd. I am taking here four different numbered flashcards here. Let us see, is this a how many digit number children? Four digit number. How to read this number? 6,374. So if I ask, this 6374 is even or odd means what's your answer? Is it even or odd? Even. Why this is even number? Because here we can observe the 4 is in 1's place here. So the 1's place is 4 means this number is a even number. For example, if I interchange these two digits here. Now tell this one is it even or odd children? Odd number. Why? Because here the once digit is having 7 digits. Like that if you interchanging the numbers. If you interchange the numbers. We can identify the numbers are even or odd numbers. Now children let us take some examples. I am taking 4 plus 2 equal to 6. What is this children? 4 plus 2 equal to this is an addition fact. Now let us take one more addition fact. 16 plus 14 equal to how much 16 plus 14? Add it. 10, 1 carry, 3. The sum of these two numbers is 30. Let us take one more three digit number example 392 plus 114. How many digits we are adding? Here we are adding three digit numbers. So what is the sum children? 4 plus 2 is 6. 9 plus 1 is 10. 1 carry 4 5. So totally this is 506. What are these children? All these are addition facts. In the addition facts, above addition facts, are we added the even numbers or odd numbers children? Yes, we are adding the even numbers. So here we can observe 4 is an even number, 2 is even number. Adding, here we are adding 2 even numbers. After adding these 2 even numbers, what do we get the result children? Is it even or odd? If you observe 6, 6 is also a even number. Go to the next example. Here we are adding even number. Again one more even number. After adding these two numbers, we get the answer is again even number. Let us take this number. The number is having one split place is 2. So this is an even number. The one split place is 4. This is an even number. We are adding these two even numbers. The answer also becomes even 
number. So, from the above examples, what we conclude children? The sum of, the addition of any two even numbers is an even number. So, what is the conclusion children? Even number plus even number equal to again we get the even number. This is the basic fact of even and odd numbers. Let us take one more example children. In this case, 3 plus 9 equal to how much? 9 after 3 fingers. 10, 11, 12. What is the answer? 12. Let us take one more two digit number. 33 plus 55. What is the answer? 33 plus 55 children. 5 plus 3, 8. 5 plus 3, 8. 88. Let us take now three digit number. 231 plus 453. So, we are adding 231 and 453. What is the answer children? 3 plus 1 is 4. 5 plus 3 is 8. 4 after 2 is 2. 4 after 2 is 6. So, totally how much we got children? 684. Now, let us observe all these addition facts. In the above addition facts, do we added the even numbers or odd numbers? If you see here, the given two numbers are, is it even or odd? 3 is an odd number. And 9 also an odd number. What we are going to do here, we are adding these two numbers. So, what is the result we get here? The units place is 2. So, this is a even number. Similarly, if you observe the remaining two examples also, we are adding odd number. We are adding odd number. We get the even number. Here also, adding odd number, odd numbers, we get the answer is even number. From this, we can say that the sum of two odd numbers, if we add two odd numbers, again the result is also a even number. The sum of two odd numbers is an even number. Therefore, the sum of two odd numbers, we are adding two odd numbers, then the result we get is even number. This is the fact number 2. Now, let us take one more example. This time, I am adding 3 plus 6 equal to how much children? 9. And 7 plus, 17 plus 14 equal to how much children? 17 plus 14. How much? 7 plus 4 is 11. 1 carry 31. Here I am adding 260 plus 301. What is the answer? 260 plus 301. So we are adding 0 plus 1 is 1. 6 plus 0 is 6. 2 plus 3 is 5. What is the result children? 561. Carefully if you observe here, what are the numbers we are adding in this addition facts? Here, we are adding one odd number, one even number. So, what is the answer we get children here? Odd number we get. Let us take second addition fact. If you observe this number, what is this 17? Is it even or odd? Odd. This is even. So, what is the result here we get? Odd number. Similarly, if you observe the third one, we are adding even number here we are adding odd number. What is the answer we got? Here we get the odd number. Means here we can observe in all these addition facts either we are adding odd and even numbers or even and odd numbers. In the both the cases we are getting the answer is odd number. So what do we get the result children? Odd number only get. So, from this we can conclude that when we add sum of two, sum of even and odd number or odd and even numbers, we get the odd numbers. So, we are adding either even plus odd or odd plus even. In both the cases, we get the odd number. Understand children? These are the basic facts of even and odd numbers.
so what is the gist of this topic children today we learned about even numbers odd numbers and what are the basic facts of what are the basic facts of even and odd numbers so what is the even numbers the numbers which are end with 0 2 4 6 8 are called even numbers the numbers which are end with either 1 3 5 7 9 are called the odd numbers even numbers we can make into a exact pairs we can make into exact pairs here we cannot make into exact pairs so what are the basics of even number when we add two even numbers we get the even number when we add two odd numbers in this case also we are getting even number when we add either even and odd or odd and even in both the cases we get the answer is odd number